All right, so we are going to do some repairs across the floor, the rear of this 57. These are, and we can see there's a bunch of cracks, right? Right there and right there. This entire pocket is separated from the body right there. Both that tab and that tab are both supposed to be folded up. That's actually the, this tub. These are a lip of this tub that that sat on and was welded all the way across there. This entire structure is so destroyed. These are the shock mounts right here. Right, right there's one and there's one. And the frame comes right across here between these mounts and then the shock runs right down here to the axle. Well, it looks like the shock bottomed out and pushed the floor up and destroyed the floor. So we're gonna pull the bump stop mounts out. You can see I've got one uh, rotor brooch cut right there. We're gonna pull the bump stop out and we're gonna cut the shock perch out and we're gonna go in and we're gonna repair all this metal and we're gonna make the floor of this thing solid again and then we're gonna re-weld the shock mount back in but I'm not gonna use the shock mount. I'm actually gonna put a bar from the frame right across here and it's gonna put a tab in you know, somewhere in this area and the shock will be a slightly more vertical angle but uh, it'll last a lot longer because it'll be mounted to the frame and not the body. But yeah, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done in here. All of this has to go away. All these are cracks. You can see light clean up through the floor. So, yep. All right. So after the majority of all the cracked metal has been cut out, that's the hole that we're left with. This is the trunk panel. It goes right there to that lip. And then this is the floor panel and it comes up and goes over top of that. And I've got to take all of this cracked metal out. I've got to straighten up this edge and basically come in here and reform this lip all the way across here. And then once that's done, I have to patch all of the cracks in the floor. Gotta fix all of this stuff right here. And then put the shock structure back up on here. We're not gonna use that. We're not gonna use the shock structure, but it is strength for the underside right here. So we have to put that back. You can see how damaged this is. I mean, yeah. Got to fix all of this. Lots to do. All right. So I have the shock structure welded back in. I have all of the cracks and stuff are all repaired, right? Everything is metal finished. Um, that is the lip piece that I put in there. That was dull. That entire piece was all cracked and had to come out. Uh, I had to cut that off of the shock structure. I still got to metal finish that, make that look a little bit better. But um, yeah, and if you remember when you could push on it and this entire thing would flex, it doesn't move now because it's all welded back together like it was supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs>